I'm Doth Savick, and this is the new Simeon bag from Gorilla Boy, new for 2019. They've made a few major changes to this bag. Uh, the first thing you'll notice looking at it is that we've got a totally redesigned side pocket, and the disc storage on the side comes in at a different angle. They push straight down instead of uh, like the one you see behind me where those putters or mids or whatever disc you want to keep there come in at an angle. The other main difference is that they've changed the uh, main storage compartment, and that's the best addition, uh, the best change that they've made. The discs now sit in at a little bit more of a flat angle. Uh, on the older bag, those discs were on a much steeper angle. And that is a nice ease of use change. You can see that angle I'm talking about right there uh, on the older bag they're you know up almost at a 45 and they're much closer to flat on the on the new bag the other thing is we've got the keeper straps here and those provide a little bit of extra friction as we're pulling those discs in and out you can see how the straps pushing on the side of the disc that helps them so they're not as likely to fall out that's not really an issue i ever experienced uh, when i was carrying the original bag but i know that that's something that people were talking about as the discs falling right out of there so though those those changes are great i feel like this was just easier for me to access my discs pulling them in and out and i ended up liking putting my putters in in the main compartment and uh, especially you know my main putting putter or i'd have two two on top and i just started putting you know my little birdie bag and in, in mini sitting straight straight inside of them so all I had to do is grab one thing, uh, just grab that one disc and I'm ready to go to my lion putt with, with everything I need. Um, the, you can't really do that with the side pockets. The way that these are designed is that that actually goes all the way through the bottom of the bag. So if you're to stuff a towel or a little birdie bag or a mini, anything like that in there, it, it can just fall straight out the bottom. The actual discs, are kept because of this piece of webbing here. So when the discs are tucked in, they're, they're sitting on that edge of webbing. That's why the discs can't fall through. But anything else that's on either side of that webbing, webbing strap can, can just come all the way out the bottom of the bag and fall to the ground. So you've got to be careful there. If you set anything inside there, it's quite likely to be a goner and you may not even realize uh, where, where you'd lost it at as you pick the bag up. Mids always fit a little bit funny to me in both of these bags, trying to get them in the main compartment. When I was carrying the original one, I was keeping mids in the side pocket for the most part, um, but I just put in mids up up in here, and, and they they fit just fine, as long as they're not super sticky. If you got like, you know, some XT plastic or, you know, some super soft plastic on your mids, then it might be a little harder to get them in and out. The couple of the other changes they made to this bag, one's with the seat cushion. They've put a thicker cushion on this bag. Uh, I'm not sure that it's more comfortable. I thought the cushion on the original one was just fine. But with that thicker cushion, the bag does sit higher. And I think that the overall height of the bag being taller with that added cushion is what makes this bag heavier than the original. And I know on their Facebook page they said that this bag, the newer one, is lighter. I've quadruple checked it. I've weighed both of them over and over and again, and the new bag is heavier. Um, I got 2.77 kilos on the original bag, and this one weighs 2.94. Now, it's not huge. It's not the end of the world, but certainly on a redesign, um, especially when most, for the most part they're eliminating features, which uh, is what's going on with this bag. A lot of stuff has been taken off of it. It's definitely been streamlined compared to that version. Uh, you, you'd think, you know, they'd get, get lighter by having a bunch of stuff removed. The things that are removed are every spot that you used to have a zippered valuable pocket. Every one of them's gone. That means that the pocket that they had on the top of the storage here, that one's gone. 
that was a spot on this bag that is a little bit hard to access but if you wanted to jam something up into that compartment and zip it closed it, it was safe you could fit you know keys wallet phone or some snacks or whatever you want in there and zip it closed that pocket has just been deleted there's now there's now nothing up there that that's what it it looks like there's just a huge void that is not utilized whatsoever which is really really unfortunate the uh, original Simeon has a little bit different tubing up on top here. Uh, this this piece doesn't exist on on the original one. So there's a little bit added PVC on this new version. I'm not quite sure why they decided that was necessary. This this zipper that I just pulled, I I believe that was just to ease their build process. I'm trying to figure out how that bag is put the Together, it's a little hard to see how they jam the PVC in there. This one is super easy to envision. They have the whole bag sewn, they have the PVC set up different, uh, separately, and they just do that zipper at the top and drop the frame in and zip it closed. So I'm guessing that was one of the primary go goals with this redesign was to ease, uh, make their assembly process a little bit easier. Um, but they, they remove stuff on the way. So with that zipper pocket gone, the other thing that we're missing is that zipper that they did have across the bottom here. And I think the actual storage that we get is about the same, but what are you gonna put in there that you're not worried is just gonna fall right back out? You know, you could jam. There's, there's room for quite a bit, um, quite a bit of stuff, but you really gotta be careful about things, things falling out. Moving on to the side pockets. That was one of the bigger criticisms I had of the original bag was that the zippers went the wrong way. And I think they, they avoided having any sort of that criticism on this new bag by putting double zippers on it. So you get to decide which uh, direction you want the zippers to go. Uh, unfortunately, you do have corners as you just noticed right there. It's if you want to fully zip unclosed or closed, you almost need a second hand uh, to pull the zipper around the corner, you know, which can be a little bit, a little bit annoying if you're trying to get in and out quick. That you have to commit both hands to open in that pocket. On the old style pockets that came up high, you got a zippered pocket up in the corner, which was really nice. That little zippered pocket that they put on both sides was another great spot you know additionally to put keys to put wallet uh, anything like that that you want to have its own little home where you don't have to worry about losing losing that stuff and those are two more pockets that are just gone now you, you just lost the ability to store any small items the the best that you're going to get are d these pockets right here which there was a similar one that exists on the old bag you know it's it's a pretty nice size to put a uh, cell phone scorecard stuff like that there are let's see i had a handful handful of pencils here they've sewn pencil pockets all across the side so you got plenty of storage for uh, pens and pencils and whatnot the only other thing you've got is once you open that side pocket all the way down at the bottom on the inside wall they've sewn a mesh pocket all the way across again similar thing existed on the old bag you had a mesh pocket down there that's really bad storage you if you're putting much of stuff in this pocket at all whether it's discs extra beverages um you know suntan lotion or sunblock whatever it's called bug spray you, you start stacking a pocket full and then you've lost access uh, to get down in there and everything is rubbing against your phone or whatever so that's the biggest head scratcher to me right away is what what on earth were they thinking in deleting every single valuable pocket uh, on a redesign a version two you know this thing's supposed to be better than the first one so that's just kind of crazy to me that was the biggest hurdle for for me with this bag was trying to figure out how to carry those things i ended up starting to add on extra bags I went to the Army Navy surplus store 
and found some extra little pockets. This one I've been clipping right on the side here. We got some extra loops and that's just perfectly big enough that I can put my wallet and keys in. So that's where my wallet and keys have lived. Every time I carry this bag is in that little pocket. And then I also found, uh, found this bag here, which just perfectly fits down into that bottom storage area. And it's even got some snap closures on there. So I was able to snap it down to the piece of PVC that's in there. And then I've got a zippered closure, uh, even better than the bottom storage on the older Simeon. And between those two pouches, I kind of got myself by. That's all the separated secure storage that I need. But still, for a premium price tag on a bag, it's really frustrating that they just didn't have that stuff added from the beginning. I still didn't figure out a way to utilize that dead space up underneath the top. And there's so much space up there. Looking at the old one, uh, they designed that pocket to kind of wrap around the PVC and just hang and why they couldn't figure out something similar with this even though the PVC is just slightly different again it's it's just a head scratcher they just deleted so many things from this bag and then it ended up being heavier I wish that they'd put the old side pockets back on here that would be my choice I think they did great with the new disc angle they did great with the little tension straps on the side Give me the top pocket back up here. Give me the old side pockets with zipper storage and you're really on your way to a great, uh, a great bag that has a comfortable seat. But this one is just, it's just a little bit frustrating. One of the other things that they've changed is the, uh, the back. They're changed this back padding piece. This is just a Velcro, sorry for the noise, uh, a Velcro back padding. On the earlier bag, they had two pieces of padding back there that are, you know, removable and adjustable. These are much thicker on the old bag, but I, I still prefer the, the new back piece. It is a more compressed foam. Uh, it just it fits, it feels better. If, uh, it's a little bit more of a polished finish, something like that. Uh, this bag does have the hard PVC right across the bottom. That's the same as the old one. And that's really mostly what you're feeling on your back. So having thicker padding up higher is not gonna help you out. As you've seen on that one, the pad was pushed really low, and that's pretty much to try to keep that piece of PVC from bouncing off your lower back. And this can be put on sideways as well. I carried it that way for a bit. It'll, it'll stick on just fine like that. Or you can leave it vertical. I like it vertical and then have this hang a little bit lower. It'll kind of bunch up on my back, I'll feel it. Uh, but I'll just reach back there and, and pull it down and then it, it starts to kind of cover that hard piece of PVC One really silly thing and it's it exists on the old bag as well is That they made just kind of a silly oversight when they put this velcro on they decided to put the rigid uh, scratchy velcro straight onto the bag and the soft Velcro on the back piece. And they put that Velcro all the way to the top. So it comes all the way up here. So every time you're picking this bag up and when it's shifting on your back, that's what you get to listen to, is the fabric on the strap scratching against that. If they had just had the foresight to under stand that that's going to be an annoying problem or with all the people that have carried the old bags i'm sure somebody mentioned it to them or realized it you just swap these you put the scratchy velcro on the back piece and you put the soft velcro on the bag that way your backpack straps are only rubbing on the soft velcro that is so loud and annoying that i went and bought my own velcro and that's how i've been carrying it i took my own velcro pieces and stuck them up there to cover the rigid scratchy Velcro. I never pulled the sticky backing off, 
but if I was going to keep using them, that, that's what I would do. I would take two soft pieces and, and stick them together. But even just with it that way, the noise is like dramatically reduced. As I'm carrying it, I just don't listen to it, you know, scratch constantly. This bag has kind of just a rough feeling to it. And I think that's one of the things that helped kind of turn me off to the original version is just how rough it feels uh, on your back. This Cordura fabric that they're using is like ex extremely durable stuff. And that means it's gonna be a little bit of a slow break in process. Once I started wrapping my mind around that, it didn't bug me so much how, much, how hard of corners this thing has. There's just spots on the straps, spots on the corner of the bag, even you know these nice big fluffy drink holders. They just come to a point like this and just all these rigid corners are just kind of rubbing against you. They're up against your arms. Uh, drink holders in particular on this model kind of push a little bit more in towards your elbows because of the bigger side pocket they're able to sag out further even even if i've got this zipped closed and when we get a, a drink in there which this thing's empty there's not even you know water in there but the drink holders want to just flip all the way down to the side and then they want to come towards you so even just trying to get like i put it on my left shoulder first and I realized that that meant I needed to carry my water bottle on the other side because having a water bottle in there, that thing just collides, collides with my elbow. Like, I don't know how to show you. Um, so you can see right there, just trying to get it over and my elbow's just all the way into that water bottle. It's just constantly up in my, up in my way and my elbow's banging on it as I'm putting the bag on and taking it off. try to stop scratching my table so much by setting bags on there um, so it's a you know you can tell just from kind of the tone of my voice so far that's it's not my favorite bag just looking at it and like realizing how many pockets they deleted from the thing it was just kind of a WTF moment as I was first working with this bag and then I really just had to commit to like figuring out a way that it was going to work for me. And I decided I was going to keep carrying the bag until I was happy with it, until I seen like good value in it. And I think I'm there. I, I really have been enjoying it. It's hard to understate how valuable it is to have a bag that you can sit on. I've been using this thing in the mountains. Uh, I've got through two, three round, two day tournament where I was just exhausted, you know, hot days walking in the sun and the ability just to sit down between shots when you're waiting for, you know, a hole back up and people in front of you to clear the hole and whatnot. It, it really, it really is nice. And I think that the more that you use the bag, the more the fabric would soften up and it wouldn't feel so harsh putting it on and off. It kind of formed to you to, to some degree. So it may not be a bag that I recommend to a whole lot of people, but there aren't a whole lot of options for bags to, to sit on, you know. Um, if you're willing to work with it a little bit and figure out some different storage for how to keep your um, valuables, then I, I, think it can be, I think it can be a great fit. Uh, as you can see, I've got four putters up, up on the top and then in the center, I've been carrying five fairways and then four distance drivers. And that's a, a really smooth fit. I could squeeze a few more, uh, especially if I was willing to take putters out of the top. And then I have not utilized the side pockets at all for carrying discs, but you certainly could. You could fit a lot, a lot of discs straight, straight in that side if you wanted to e expand and carry more. You know, there's four putters that fit just fine in there, Slight, slightly tight. The have redesigned the way that these pieces fit in here. There's actually a piece of fabric in the back now um, with these Velcro too. I'm not sure that that 
you know, really matters a whole lot, but you could actually pull that Velcro and move them up or down slightly and that would change the angles your discs are sitting on. I didn't play with that. I think they've nailed it right where it's at is, is just about the best, the best angle. Um, I think that's about it. Let me take a quick look at my checklist. Oh, okay, right away I see another thing I forgot to mention. One feature that I really did like on the older version of the bag was that they had a, a haul loop right across the top here. That was a great way to pick pick the bag up. It balances it balances really well in my hand just from holding it on that one point. And they deleted that. I think that the the reason that they did is they had this um, they had this sewn up high, and if they were to leave that same handle in place sewn up high, then every time you grab that and lifted the bag, it would be putting stress on this zipper, which is already getting stressed some, um, and and that would likely be a failure point. So they've only got one haul point on this bag, and it's right on the back, and you can see how the whole bag wants to sit on an angle. And that's without even weight in it. I pulled all the discs out already. So it's a little bit more awkward to carry that. I have realized that if I come grab right in the front here, I'm getting a piece of PVC. So that's actually the second point that I picked the bag up by to help keep it square. Another thing they've gone away with is the front flap that covers your, your discs. On the original version, they had a little Velcro tie, so you could roll that up on the outside and then use this little piece of Velcro here to, uh, to snap it closed. And it Velcroed on the bottom and then had zippers, zippers down the side with Velcro on the bottom. The new version is zipper all the way around, which is great. I don't think there's a reason to have Velcro down there. But, there's no tie up for it. There's no spot uh, to, to secure that thing. So what I've been doing is rolling it up and just jamming it. I'm having to uh, stretch this fabric a little bit to, to make that work. I think I can show it to you. So if I roll this up, I can pin it between these plastic, the PVC elbows and the, the front piece of fabric there. And it seems to stick pretty good. So I don't know if that's just lucky, you know, that there happened to be a spot that pinches it in place, but it, you know, it's kind of another, another oversight or another thing they deleted, you know, streamlined from the bag. So, um, the first thing I was tempted to do is try to figure out how how to utilize this this top space here and get some bags in there uh, to help store stuff, and and then I realized that that's probably not the best idea to be using this top zipper a whole bunch. It it really is just for assembly. I noticed that well I've got the discs out of it now, but. Um, and I don't have weight in the sides, but when I take that zipper out, the, the whole bag is like trying to slide down off of the frame, if that makes sense. There's nothing holding that up except for this top zipper. Like you can see as I close, as I close that top, it's lifting the rest of the bag up. So that zipper is carrying the weight of everything you put in putter pockets and then everything that's in the side bag, uh, side handles, all that's pulling down. And then once you've got it on your back, it, it loads differently. So it's not like there's weight on that, on that zipper constantly. But still, it's probably not the best idea to have a bunch of cycles on that zipper. If, if that thing were to fail, you're, you're in trouble with your bag. So it, it may be the best just, just to leave that alone. Um, anyways, I hope that helps you make a decision on if this bag is right for you or not. I appreciate you all watching. Thanks.